Have you heard? A new treatment for canine periodontal disease? Periodontal disease affects many animals, including a reported 80% of dogs over the age of four. So veterinary clinicians and researchers are always on the lookout for improved prevention and treatment options for this all-too-common condition. Earlier this year, a study out of Japan looked at the effects of a low-dose orally administered type 1 interferon, interferon alpha, on periodontal disease in dogs. As the researchers note, both host and bacterial factors affect the progression of periodontal disease, including a strong immune response with an increase in cytokine production. Other studies have demonstrated that interferon alpha provides some immune control and has antiviral and antibacterial actions. Additionally, type 1 interferons may increase antibacterial immunoglobulin production and regulate systemic immune responses. This study looked at the effects of orally administered canine interferon alpha subtype 4 combined with maltose paste on canine gingival inflammation. Maltose paste was added to improve product storage stability. The researchers evaluated the levels of porphyromonas species, which is the causative agent in canine periodontitis, as well as the concentrations of two oxidative stress biomarkers and changes in gingival index. 29 beagles were involved in this study. One group was free of gingival inflammation and was treated with once daily oral canine interferon alpha subtype 4 for five days. Another group with gingival inflammation was divided into two subgroups. One treated with canine interferon alpha subtype 4 combined with maltose paste for seven days and another receiving just maltose paste. A third group with gingival inflammation was divided into three subgroups. Two of the subgroups received different oral doses of canine interferon alpha subtype 4 for 30 days. The third subgroup was given maltose paste alone. Saliva from the dogs was tested throughout the study. These samples were used to evaluate the porphyromonas species count, oxidative stress biomarker concentrations, and presence of occult blood. The results, low-dose orally administered canine interferon alpha subtype 4 decreased and eventually eliminated detectable porphyromonas species, lowered stress biomarker concentrations, and significantly reduced gingival inflammation. Furthermore, maltose paste alone had no effect on the progression of periodontal disease based on gingival inflammation and the other parameters evaluated in this study. The effects of the two doses were statistically similar, suggesting that low doses may be efficacious and that higher doses do not translate to increased response. For dogs with periodontal disease, this mode of therapy may be beneficial by inhibiting the inflammatory response as well as having antibacterial actions, possibly reducing or eliminating the need for antibiotics or other medications in the pursuit of improved health and quality of life.